Hello, hello. We are back with another Analytics Friday. I hope everyone is doing well. Um, first and foremost, thanks for being here. Thanks for, for joining us on your Friday. Today, we are going to be talking about conducting competitive research using Moz Pro. Um, there are a lot of different ways you can do it. Obviously, you know, this is this is for SEO more like mostly. However, this is also really good for uh, content marketers as well. So if you're if you fall in one of those camps or you just like to learn and you just like to find more data, make sure you stick around. Uh, go ahead, tag a friend, bring them along. We are going to be doing a giveaway today. So if you haven't seen, we released a marketing merch store um, and we are going to be giving away some of these stickers. Let's see if it'll focus here. Focus, focus, focus. You can kind of see them there. Um, they're reap what you, they say reap what you SEO. Uh, and so we sold out of those pretty quickly, but we just got a new shipment in and we're so excited about it. We want to uh, give a few away. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into Moz Pro, do, do, do. Moz Pro, here we go, add to stream. So this is what Moz Pro looks like if you're not already using Moz Pro. If you are using Moz Pro, go ahead and uh, drop a comment and let us know how long you've been using it. Um, Moz has been around for a long time and there are free tools. We'll kind of go over some of those free tools, um, but really, we're going to be looking at Moz Pro just because it has a lot more functionality, as I'm sure you could imagine. Uh, so like I said, if you have been using Moz Pro or if you do use Moz Pro, let us know in the comments. I am setting up one more thing and then we will we will just hop right in here. All right. Sweet. OK. So the first thing we're going to do um, is I like to start with a little bit of keyword research. So today, let's see, let's think of a, um, um, a website here. Let's do, um, no issue. Okay, no issue.com. So if you don't know who no issue is, they sell uh, eco-friendly shipping products which is really nice um, and they do a very good job. Oh, okay, that must not be their website. <laughs> no issue, no issue tissue, dot co, they're a dot co. All right, what's up Shay? Thanks for uh, joining, appreciate it. Good to see you as always. So no issue dot co, like I said, they sell um, eco-friendly, um, shipping products, which is super nice. So we can see here, let's let's say that we are going to start offering the same sort of products, right? So we are now officially collectively starting a eco-friendly shipping products business, okay? Me and you and everybody else watching us, we're doing that. We can see here um, a few things. We see how many rank uh, keywords they have that rank in the top 100 uh, and that's 2100 keywords we see how many keywords they have in top positions more or less on page one um, you know page one used to be 10 blue links now that's not necessarily the case so we do usually see people do that cut off at um, top 10 but you can see they have probably like 455 keywords that uh, rank in the top 10. We can see their page authority and domain authority. Yes, those are Moz created metrics, um, but they're still nice to have and nice to know. And then we see uh, their top ranking keywords, and this is by keywords that are going to be bringing them the most traffic. So we can see that you know, this would be nice even for like, let's say we're starting a sustainable um, packaging website or, or business. If we're trying to do product research, um, custom, custom, custom 
tissue paper is doing remarkably well. Uh, they get, there's a lot of searches for it. Uh, they're ranking number one and uh, we we could definitely do that, right? The difficulty, they have it only listed as like a 28. So I'm gonna open that in a new tab. We'll come back to that um, here momentarily. Thanks everybody for joining over on Twitter. We've got a lot of friends over there on Twitter. Let me know in the comments if you're using Moz Pro. Um, Okay, and then we also see paper stickers, custom printed tissue papers. Um, so two um, of their top keywords are custom tissue paper. So we might wanna add custom tissue paper, just an idea. Then we see the ranking distribution down here. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and click into their top ranking keywords here. Um, let me go ahead and take this off for you guys so it's not as cluttered on the screen okay so what's cool about this is we see all of their keywords here right if we were another business that offered something similar we could put our business name in here and it would compare them um so let's look up Surely somebody's running ads on their name. Um, maybe not, maybe they're flying under the radar. There we go. Bolded color. They have like random stuff and so I don't really know how I feel about that. Let's do Fantastapack, Fantastapack. Oops. Uh, okay, Fantastapack.com. And now we're gonna see the overlap in the keywords that they already share. So if we are trying to compete with no issue, we wanna know the ones that we're already overlapping and like, yes, that's helpful. However, I would be looking more at like, okay, what are the keywords that they're ranking for that we're not currently ranking for? If we offer all similar things, um, then we should be able to compete for some of the same keywords and it's, likely that we just haven't thought about those keywords. Um, you know, maybe they use different wording than we do, something of that nature. And then we can see on here, um, um, we can see here kind of how we stack up against the competition. So Shay says that he used Moz Pro for about two years and thought their keyword tool was the most accurate. Yeah, uh, I, I really, uh, I really like Moz, mostly because it is so SEO focused um, that there are a lot of really cool tools that you get uh, with Moz Pro. Okay, so we see kind of the the similar keywords that we're ranking for these ones are all the ones that they rank number one for um let's see if there's anything of overlap i'm gonna guess these people probably don't actually have a lot of the same products okay here's one how are subscription boxes packed and distributed with an odd way to spell distributed and we can see that um, these guys are ranking first. They have a guide to subscription box packaging and they have a, uh, well, and no issue has a blog for subscription box packaging guide to different things here. One ranks first and one ranks eighth. So let's see, these guys, We've got a table of contents here. Download now, congratulations. Okay, and then we've got e-commerce, designing packaging. Not sure what's up with their images here. Okay, so this is just a lot. I mean, this is a lot of content here. This is a lot of content. And then you still get to download the guide over here. Not sure what that's about. No issue. Okay, so that took forever to load. Um, 
I know you, you probably couldn't see that, but it was loading up here forever. Let's see. So this is over a year, almost two years old. When was this written? Um, oh, this is on a HubSpot. Okay. Let's see, property. Uh, August 20th. Oh, no, that's the style sheet. Hmm. I can't remember the easiest way to do this. Um, okay, we'll, we'll come back to that. Okay, so that's a year old. And then they do have a table of contents here. Um, big images though. Let's see, this can't be read by search engines because it is an image. I don't have a ton of, well, it keeps going. Okay, so like we could, we could read through all this and kind of see what it all is. But the nice thing about, um, the nice thing about Moz is we can go ahead and click into this keyword. It's gonna pull up the actual keyword data. So you can see this isn't, I mean, honestly, I wouldn't put a ton of effort into this keyword just because there's not a lot of search volume for it. The organic click-through rate is really high. I love that we get that number because if the organic click-through rate is like 30, 40%, um, it almost, and it's like really hard to rank for, it almost makes more sense to either say, we're going to have to pay for this, uh, and just do PPC on this keyword or, you know, put it on like the backlog, something that is an opportunity, but like down the line, because as of right now, we're just not in a place to, to do that sort of work. Right. Okay. So I get all that information. Um, and then if we go to the SERP analysis, this shows us how many, um, ads are at the top. It, it kind of tells us what the SERP looks like. Obviously that's what a SERP analysis is. So how many ads are at the top? Um, what is the page authority, domain authority, number of links to the page, and then the overall page score, again, remembering that page score you know, uh, page authority and domain authority are uh, Moz specific metrics, they are still useful. So um, let's see, we've got that, here's that info. Okay, so that has four links to that specific page. Great joy fulfillment, no issue. They have zero links to that page. That's probably where they should start. It looks like they don't have a lot of links to that page. Also, this is the New Zealand. Is that? Okay, that's weird. I don't really know. Um, so that's probably where they need to start. If they want that page to rank better, they should probably start sending people to it and get other people to send their users to it, right? And then this can just send us down a tizzy. So then we go, okay, well, what is linking to um Fantastic Packs page, and these are it. So um, a coupon site uh, is linking to it. Weird. Uh, another coupon site, Site Curious. I don't know what that is. Bedroom Decorating Ideas Club. I'm not feeling great about these links. Uh, if I was no issue, I would probably find other links to collect. 
Okay, we've got a couple of people on the stream. We're gonna go ahead and do a giveaway now. So just a reminder, we are giving away um, a couple of these Reboot USEO stickers. I'm trying to get this to focus. It's not going well. Focus. There we go. Okay, so we're giving away a couple of these Reboot USEO stickers. To get a Reboot USEO sticker, go ahead. I'm going to pop it in here. I need you to go follow on Twitter, Mer Merch Store. Okay, this right here. Nope, not that because I spelled it incorrectly. Um, marketing Merch Store, Ugh, save. Okay, go follow this Twitter account, this Twitter account down here. All right, go follow that Twitter account. Um, and then comment on this stream that you have followed and uh we'll give away two of these to the first three people that do that okay now go get you your stickers so follow this account come back to the stream comment that you followed it um and then we will be reaching out to you to send you two of these stickers reap what you seo you know what i mean and we're gonna seo here a little bit while everybody's doing that. Okay. Um, let's see, what were we doing? So we were talking about, um, yeah, these links are not, are not great, right? But for that specific keyword, that was the issue that uh, no issue was running into or whomever, was that they just didn't have any links. I mean, it's probably not the only issue, but the most obvious here is that they don't have any links um, uh, linking to that blog post. So yeah, it's not it's not gonna do very well. Okay, so I wanna take you through a, um, a process that I did for uh, a previous client of mine that I thought was really interesting. And there might be a better way to do this. And if you know a better way to do this, by all means, please let me know so I can share it with people or not share it with people. Um, and you can just say, hey, there's a better way to do that. I totally respect that. Okay, so we just want to look at this. Don't know why it's not working. All right. Okay, it's still showing up, don't know why. Okay, here we go. So these are all the keywords that uh, no issue is ranking for currently. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here and put a few filters. So um, we're going to say we want to only see the words that they rank one through 10 for apply. And then we only want to look at difficulties probably between 40 and 50. And now we get, um, these are all of the keywords that they are ranking for that, um, Oh, that's interesting. Um, that are ranking on the first page, more or less, um, and have a difficulty between one and 50. Remember that number is a bit arbitrary. Um, that's just what uh, Moz has decided based on a number of factors. If we hover over it, it says, yeah, that not much doesn't really tell us too much about that. <laughs> so, okay. Um, so what I'm going to do now is how did we do this last time? We have this, and then if we export it, I'm gonna export that to a CSV. Oh wait, I did this backwards, didn't I? That should give me 
Okay, so here are the pages. Don't mind my dog. Uh, oh, I gotta switch which screen I'm sharing with you. Hold, please. Um, stop, add, share screen. This one, okay. Okay, so now we have, can you guys see this? Okay, perfect. All right, now we have a list of all of the keywords that uh, they are ranking for in the top 10, right? We have all these, these different filters on it. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of um, organizing here. Select all. Cool. And we are going to no oh, organize sort entire table by top ranking URL. Nope. Top ranking URL. Okay, and so now we can see um, how different URLs are ranking, how many of their top keywords are coming from a specific URL. So like their homepage, which this is the case for most people, but their homepage, so 10 to 63. So it has about 64 URLs. 54 URLs or keywords um, that there are some of their top keywords that are ranking um, just their, their homepage for. Let's see. So this, okay, this keyword, interestingly enough, this keyword has 66 to 74. I don't know how many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, nine keywords um, that it ranks in the top 10 for. Four of those are ranking first. And it's Shop Local Saturday 2019. Um, shop Local Small Business Saturday 2019. Shay, what's up? Make sure you're, you're following um, the Marketing Merch Store and we'll send you and then uh, we'll send you two of these, Shay. Okay. Um, let's see. Reasons to shop local Saturday. Okay, so why it's bigger than things. All right, here's a good one. This is probably better, right? So if we were a competitor, this, we're going to want to create something that looks like this blog. Probably a lot easier for us to create. How to create custom wrapping paper for your business. If I click on this, I'm going, okay. So yeah, this is just a blog post. Um, and what's good about this is they create a uh, custom tissue paper. And so there's a lot of CTAs I'm sure throughout this. That, um, do that. But they rank, let's see these keywords that they rank for. Design your own custom wrapping paper. Looking at this, these are the ones we would probably look at. And design wrapping paper. Are the two big keywords. So design your own wrapping paper. Boink. 